you keep coming back to it's not just about you know time it's about quality it's about the depth of engagement it's about repeat customers i uh, run our insights practice which is a um, research group that helps organizations understand what the challenges and pain points are for typically uh, the C-suite for large, complex organizations. The business of business is changing so quickly. The Insights Group at Forbes, where Bruce leads that, is just such a dynamic business opportunity for us that has huge growth margins uh, and growth goals that it's kind of exciting what we what the future will hold. We've been working so closely together for many years now, and, and I think there's a lot of things that I've learned about how to do my job from you. Uh, and I think part of that is really, is really thinking of, of engagement differently. And we used to, especially as we move towards a digital model, we look at traditional digital metrics. And you keep coming back to, it's not just about you know, time, it's about quality, it's about the depth of engagement, it's about repeat customers. Your organizational and leadership skills has really helped me kind of think through where the organization, the insights group, and what its opportunities could be. We know that the potential is there, but scaling the business is, um, is going to take some work to do, and I think your vision of how to do that is has really been valuable. That sort of centralized, top-down um, organizational flow doesn't always work in the dynamic nature of our business, and how do we bring those cross-functional teams together to really drive growth from the ground up? Putting the customer at the center of everything you do kind of naturally uh, helps you break down barriers and silos between organizations because customers don't care how you're organized. Customers don't care that you have silos. Customers don't care that one part of the organization has a different perspective than the other part of the organization. So if you really have a goal of being a customer-centric organization, then naturally you'll, you'll end up breaking down the silos. If I was going to give a piece of advice, I would, I would just say everybody knows business is changing and you know it's going to change quickly and you just think where we are today as an organization and, and what you never thought would be doing today that would be possible today. Whatever that is, tomorrow is going to you know, be even that much different. And I think you have to embrace change. You cannot you know, stay with the tried and true, even if you're having good results, assume they're temporary. And I think if you really want to change, you just have to uh, get very comfortable being very uncomfortable.